Hey YouTube, Kelly Ganja farming again from the Big Kush Garden. I had a little change of plans. Let's get you in, get you up to speed and everything. Everything's looking good out here. This is the uh, the next crop I have coming. Um, the Cosmic Glue. I um, had a Jazz Queen male that I did my best at trying to dust and then a real cold night just brutes got too cold or something it was only in a one gallon and uh, anyway I, upon inspection here the glue it's got it's got seed things in it it's uh, it's gonna be okay so I scrapped this project but that male just hasn't bust yet he's about to so then I looked around the yard Look at this. This baboon. Pretty stoked on the baboon. See if I can go fast, I might get a full tour of the yard today. Let's go for it. Alright. Now let's see what's going on here. All the all the clones are in the front row there. They're all taking and doing fine. Even that one there is actually okay. Back row, uh, South Bay Kush branching out. Okay, let's run down and see, show you what I'm going to do. Because this male is magnificent. It really is special. Let me give you a good look at him all by himself in here. So see, I had pulled the cosmic out of here. They haven't, they haven't busted yet. Those are male flowers right there. On a really vigorous good plant high potency high energy look it's just a healthy plant gold in gold out folks now this is a Janus Joplin you try to pair them up at about the same age and you see this one's got flowers all over her okay so Janis Joplin and Leroy. I really think I'm making a better play going this way. Because that cosmic glue already got, it got some of the mail from this strain. That's pure TGA, I'm not dipping. But now we're going to take Janice and add Leroy. So the pearl going to get some of King. See, it's still a, a young in-flower plant, so it has plenty of energy to create the seed. That's the problem with dusting a late plant. You've killed the good bud, and you may not make good seed. But see, that wants to make seed, and it will. So, I'll come back a little later and put these two together. So this will be sitting down here. And you see, this one has not busted yet. I mean, look at the leaves. The leaves are not powdery at all. As soon as you start seeing powder on leaves, then you know it's active and wild. So, everything works out for a reason. Let's... Let's go to the back and look for some frost rails. Hey, you don't mind a couple extra minutes on my video, do you? I didn't think so. Got to move some of my stuff. See if anyone wants to come back here. They at least have to trip a couple times before they get to my gear. See, I'd considered pollinating this one but it's way too deep in the flower and that's gonna be such delicious bud that you just it's too late that's where I looked and I found Janice wow well timing then this one already seeded that's Leroy back crossed so we're gonna be at 75 percent from here henceforth 75 you are you, you got a breeding plant from here on in 
any, any males come from this you can work with no problem but I want to work this back into its original to get up to 88 all right we're on the frost rail hunt I've been given the correct name frost rail I like that I was going to taco cosmic glue should not be hard to find a frost rail on this one And what do we have over here? Numbskull. I want to get over to Baboon. Yeah, look at that. You should find a frost rail in there somewhere. Janus. See, I have this this one deep. That's why that other Janus is ready to do some some seed making. And then we got the baby baboon. What a vigorous strain. Way too young. This one hasn't even flowered yet. So there you have it. Big Kush just still cushioning along. Cosmic glue. We'll go to 710 because that's oil, right? And this thing presses some oil. Cosmic glue. We got cosmic glue in Janus, so we're going to have a pearl, a cosmic pearl.